Just steps away from Hong Kong's bustling business district, you can imagine what it was like decades ago. Chinese medicine shops are still very popular here. Seahorse dried gecko and deer's tail—they have it all. It comes into a pair, one male and one female. It's good for asthma, and it's also good for men for impotence. This is the bitter tea. Bitter tea. So, 24 varieties of what? Of herbal medicine. Of herbal medicine. Wow, it's bitter. Hong Kong is also a culinary capital of the East, and one restaurant that survived for decades is the Lok Yew Tea House. This is a restaurant where you'll see many local celebrities eating traditional dim sum. They're not known for their manners here, but it's all part of the ambience. This was even the scene of the murder of a millionaire businessman who was shot execution style while eating breakfast. They say that Hong Kong has one of the most concentrated shopping districts in the world. Here in Central, every square inch is used to accommodate the tiniest shops. Whether it's Halloween or New Year's Eve, Pottinger Street is where you'll end up. From Dracula to Saddam Hussein, you'll find just about any costume here. Which costume is the most popular? A uh, devil, devil costume. Lots of devils in Hong yeah, Kong. Right, right. Hong Kong's steep and hilly terrain has led to an innovative method of transport. This is the longest escalator system in the world, which travels through one of the city's trendy restaurant districts. It goes half a mile up a mountain to a residential district known as the Mid Levels. The escalator goes uphill most of the day, but in the early morning rush hour, travels downhill. You can get from start to finish in around 20 minutes. Chinese people like to buy their food alive or at least freshly killed. Here at the Central Market, it doesn't get any fresher. This is where most locals do their shopping. You can find just about any Chinese delicacy here. Just up the road, Hong Kong's Hollywood Road. The street has plenty of star appeal, especially if you're an art collector. Sotheby's and Christie's have caught on. Ancient relics and cultural icons. This is a hot spot for Chinese contemporary art. Some of these paintings have been sold for seven figures. If you spend too much time shopping and need a little spiritual guidance, you can visit the Manmo Temple just at the end of the art galleries. Incense coils burn day and night. Paper is burned to feed the spirits of the dead and bring good fortune to the living. No tour of Hong Kong's past would be complete without a look into the future. Here at the Manmo Temple, fortune telling is part of everyday life. Locals and tourists come here to take a look at what lies in their future. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Deborah Kahn.